Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please support us by subscribing to the channel. It helps us a lot. And also check out our car review channel for cool motoring content. All right, now let's get right into this. We've got the UR55, which is a high-end 4K monitor from Samsung. And in front of us is the 28 inch. A quick spec update, it has a native 4K resolution, 16-9 aspect ratio, 300 CD brightness, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, 4 millisecond response time, and it also has cool features like HDR10, AMD FreeSync, 60 hertz refresh rate, and a 75 by 75 VESA system. So in the box, you will find the monitor stand, detached of course, as well as the power cable and HDMI cable on the surface. Then beneath the foam packaging is the monitor itself. Now I just want to give a huge shout out to Samsung here because this monitor actually arrived damaged and I'm not sure if it was during the transportation process or production, but Samsung, I contacted them, they came and picked it up, repaired it and brought it back to me within a couple of weeks and had just really exceptional service. So well done to Samsung. Now the stand can be assembled by clicking the two pieces together and then beneath you have the screw that you can turn by yourself because it's got that little latch there that you don't really need a screwdriver. So once you put it in, you then just click it into the back of the monitor and it is ready to go. This stand is quite sleek and matches the frameless design, which doesn't take up too much space on your desk. All brilliant things except that it doesn't go up and down. It can tilt however, but if you prefer a more movable stand, it might be best to get a monitor arm. Once set up though, the UR55 looks sleek and simplistic, improving any office setup without taking up too much desk real estate, which is important for me because I have so many other things on my desk at all times. As for inputs, the UR55 has one display port, two HDMI 2.0 ports and a headphone port, along with a USB port for service, not to charge anything or plug into the computer. Samsung also offers three years limited warranty with this monitor, which is fantastic. Now onto our review. The first thing you notice when using this monitor is the classic Samsung vividness in the colors. As this is an IPS panel, it preserves color vividness and clarity across the screen. Even on display this wide, tones and shades look accurate from multiple angles with pretty minimal color washing, which is great about IPS panels. HDR enhances the image beautifully, bringing a dynamic range of dark and light shades, making these areas stand out. For watching movies and other high quality content, this monitor does do exceptionally well and does make viewing really comfortable, thanks to the matte finish as well, which minimizes glare. AMD FreeSync helps eliminate screen tears and can be switched on and off with the switch of a button. This monitor is also the world's first certification as a monitor from TUV Rhineland for iComfort 2.0 standard, which, and this is just marketing here, validates that the product can provide a user experience viewing with accurate color reproduction, minimized ambient light impact, reduced toxic blue light and flicker, while achieving 99.5% sRGB without any change to resolution. Okay, that's a mouthful. But basically, you just click the button and it makes the monitor turn a much warmer orange color to be easier on the eyes at nighttime. The display itself has a three-sided bezel-less screen, making a dual monitor setup pretty seamless. It measures in at 64 centimeters wide by 37 centimeters high, meaning it won't take up too much space thanks to that bezel-less design. There is also the option to make use of picture-in-picture or to put a secondary input into the corner of the screen, which might be useful if you want to make use of gaming or working and streaming movies at the same time, if you're that productive. The settings can be accessed by an easily accessible joystick at the center of the display, which allows you to access things such as brightness, contrast, and so on, and also allows you to play around with the picture-in-picture -picture settings, AMD FreeSync, picture mode, and plenty more. It's great to have the choices here to choose exactly how I want this display, as well as the gaming mode and other options that it allows me to select. As it is a 60 Hz display, it will cope fine with casual gaming with the four millisecond response time, 
but pro gamers might feel more comfortable with a higher refresh rate. The trade-off is that this comes with the beautiful 4K display, which is perfect for people like me who edit videos frequently, view a heap of content, and also do a heap of reading on the monitor. Basically, I think the UR55 is the perfect all-rounder, particularly for those working from home who might make use of that high resolution and eye care features when they're staring at a monitor all day, but also those that might want to use the monitor to stream high quality content, as well as the occasional gaming session, it is a really good all-rounder. So I've enjoyed using this monitor, it looks great in my workspace, and I know it will last thanks to Samsung's reputation with their panels, as well as their warranty and service, which in my experience has been brilliant. So here's my UR55 review. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful to you, and stay tuned for more videos as we review plenty more tech products and everyday home and office products to just make your purchasing choices easier. So stay tuned for more and please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Peace.